In this video, we want to go into the next level stuff. We want to take another look at the automation tactics and figure out how we can continuously refine the automation tactics setup because we want to be straight up with you. In the beginning, it might be that you have some uh, special conditions, some special movements, or the automation tactics are just not fully ideally set up. So you always see some ad sets that should have been stopped lost already or you have an ad set which is still is spending money and sunsetting just didn't turn it off just yet. So you want to have a continuous eye on your ad set performances in the first week um, so you really understand the behavior of your automation tactics and then you can make the adjustments already inside. So if you go into the automation tactics, um, you basically see all the tactics you have set up and with the pencil symbol, you can uh, go inside the settings of that automation tactics. So you can change the settings towards what you have figured out and um, also apply it for different tact um, campaigns. Okay. Um, one more thing that I would like to raise in this video. Many of you guys are spending still a little bit lower budgets per ad set. Okay. So it might be that, for instance, stop loss. It's just not catching any ad set because it's starting to catch at cost per purchase, which is, let's say, 40 bucks. But on average, you only spend 20 bucks per ad set. So it never really catches it and there's no real uplift. And you understand by looking at the dashboard that you are overspending on neg negative days. So one thing you can do, one strategy you can take, you can build an automation tactic on an earlier funnel event. Okay, so based on ads to card, ad payment info, search, view content, initiate checkout, these kind of things. Um, I take outbound click just for the sake of argument, but <clears throat> it's recommended to be as close to the purchase as anyhow possible while having an event which in its cost is lower than the daily um, cost uh, or spend per ad set. So just as an example, let's take outbound CTR. Okay, the average outbound CTR cost as you can see here, is 50, 50 cents, okay? So now, let's say I've spent um, um, five times the cost per outbound click, which is 2.8, but I only generated, let's say, three outbound clicks. This is already an indication that there's negative momentum on this ad set. We are far away from the purchase event, but it's already an indication, an early indication. And now we would already, already stop ad sets at 2.8 pounds in this case spend. Okay. So you're already, if you run on 20 ads, uh, on 20, 20 daily budget, you're already saving about 18, 18 bucks each and every day. You only have 2.8 on risk. Right. So this is a huge benefit. But one thing, since you're moving so far away from the core event, which is the purchase, you're going to have more, um, um, you're going to be more imprecise, basically. OK, so we always recommend um, to go a little bit higher in the quantity of events. So in this case, three outbound clicks for the cost of five, because then it's already um, on the extreme end of negative performances and then it's worthwhile shutting it off already. I just wanted to share this quick tip with you guys because um, many of you are spending on lower budgets and you still want to have a little bit of performance uplift from the automation tactics. This is going to be golden. One thing though, make sure you keep your pipeline full because now you're very strict. Now you're very strict with the automation tactics and they're going to turn off a lot. Make sure you launch a bunch a bunch of audiences and you can with great ad sets. Okay. So have fun, adjust your things, take a look at stuff. And then within a week maximum, you're going to sit on the fully refined machinery. So now you can fully focus on keeping the pipeline full, pushing new creatives and improving your business. Enjoy, have some fun. If you have any questions, reach out to us on the chat and we're going to be there to help you out. All the best and bye-bye.